What's the craziest name tag in your inventory? The 21 one? Multiple of the items in my inventory have a 21 character name tag. You know how there's that really long Arabic symbol? It's the widest, I believe, one single um, symbol. If you have 21 of them in a name tag, the name tag is so long and that if you play with a stretched resolution, the name tag completely disappears. It doesn't show at all. Wow. Like, uh, no quotation marks, anything. Oh, wow. Hä? Jeez, well, for me, it's on the whole screen. Yeah, because you play on native. For me, it doesn't show up at all. You know how um, some of my items have that line separator or paragraph separator um, symbol, that box? It results in um, quite a lot of free, if you could say. CSGO's UI doesn't really know how to react to it. Look at this. Cheese more? Wow. What the f*** is that? I need something like this. That's insane, cheese more. You don't even know how this blows my mind right now. Wait, give me a main gun as well. Oh my god! I have a main gun! <laughs> oh my god. That is disgusting. Like, if you kill someone, I can show you a in screenshot. Game, right? Yeah, yeah. If okay, in game, okay, oh, if, yeah. So, if, if you kill someone. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, hopefully in the game. If yeah, so, if someone kills you with an AK, that's name tag like so. Um, the you know how it shows the skin that you were killed with. It shows that some like on the death cam. The name tag is is like so long. It the box is really kind of wide. It goes out of your screen. It's kind of really hard to explain. I'm trying to find a screenshot that I got of this. It's really um like it, the UI really doesn't know um what to do if you like you aren't supposed to have these kinds of name tags on your items. That's kind of the thing. Like the UI just yeah. bugs out. Like here's a screenshot. Um, You're the type of guy to like like that crafted uh, Minecraft mods during his childhood. Did you craft Minecraft mods when you were younger? Not mm. really. I I, oh. I played some Minecraft, but not really that much. I I, I like to play it vanilla because um, you know usually if you play it with too many mods, and especially because I was playing with my mom's laptop when I played Minecraft, you know you can't really do much. I changed the name tag on the butterfly knife, by the way. It doesn't look like that anymore. But my eagle does look like that. Huh? How? Oh, yeah. Again, PowerShell? The North Collection yes. is at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And here's uh, when I applied a sticker on the uh, my place. Dust Collection, bottom left. The gun is uh, higher than it should be. Yes. And uh, look at that. Um, there's this um, phone symbol on the left. That's the actual name. It's um, it's vertical. Jeez, no. If I want to recreate, you say the butterfly knife, it, it's not on there anymore? Why not? It got um, because fixed? I changed it. I put, I um, tried a bunch of stuff. Here's um, a screenshot of what my knife now has. It doesn't show name anymore because it has the, it has some other symbols on it. And I play <laughs> with the stretched resolution. I like it. Look at the knife on the top right. TGP. Yeah, TGP, yes. You like that? I mean, I go there once in a while. It's, it's pretty cool. Okay. Is and that what, is that rare? I know two other um people um that have this. I know the person that made the script and I know one guy that um also uses the script and through that guy I found out about this. And I don't think that yeah, there's two other people that know of this um this script. I haven't heard of any other or seen any other person who's um has these name tags on their items. How did you get the script? Uh, I found uh, a guy that I saw that he had this kind of name tags. I asked about this stuff from him and he redirected really me to this other guy. And through that guy, like, he just uh, gave me a link and I used the link. <laughs> I mean, the link isn't even up anymore, I don't think. I think the GitHub for it is private or deleted. Wow. So you're one of the only guys that has the power to do this. I'm not sure. I mean, the script that's used for these, it's based on another script. You know how um, trading bots, they kind of worked in a similar way. It's built off of on the script that um, trading bots use, that they communicate straight with Steam inventory system. It's, it's, I mean, servers, I mean. It's rather complicated, but rather than talking through the client mm -hmm. to the Steam item servers, it, it directly talks to them. Like, you don't need to even have your game on. I've talked about this with friends, like Valve is sometimes, like, they leave some stuff up, you know? I mean, yes. Like bugs. What if you, like, can push commands through uh, through a name tag? We talked about this, like, a friend and I. Well, I guess it's possible, but I've only used this for um, cosmetic purposes. I haven't... I, I mean, I have experimented with this a lot. And you noticed how my... um. Storage units have custom names. It costs a lot to use name tags, but on the storage units, you can change the names for free. So that's where mm. I usually just experiment all over again. Smart, smart.
Yeah, and you just change the names of the wow. storage units. And CSGO limits what your characters you can use. You can use unicode characters, but you can use all of them. But with this, you can use literally any sort of symbol. And I've kind of like been going through all sorts of symbols, trying to find things that kind of break the UI even more and more. <laughs> Please don't break CS. Yes, I'm telling you, like, I feel like at some point, like someone will up CS through name tags, I'm telling you, dude. One guy, who was it? I bought a howl or something, and the guy had, like, in the name, select star something, like, uh, literal database commands, you know? Like, I don't know, I feel like... Oh, yes. Oh, what? Y y it, you could put this... Uh, well, I, th I think it was H... HTML codes and that would like change the color of the weapon but I know it's not they, they don't work anymore I don't believe if they didn't have that fixed bro what if someone can literally like I don't know what is that called in fucking programming I forgot the name if you can execute commands through stuff like this SQL works. injection yeah SQL injection I'm I'm a li I'm telling you I'm a I don't know if you if you can you say you literally like can like break the boundaries of name tags by using Windows PowerShell with cr uh, scripts to interact with CSGO directly rather than in CSGO with clicks. Bro, if stuff like that is possible and not shielded off, don't you think like at one point one guy will figure out like an SQL injection or something like something? For example, in Team Fortress 2, some guy found an exploit that you could unbox crates with name tags. Or description. What? I mean, not it was the gift pulls, and they gift pulls are these completely worthless items that cost like six, five cents. And he found an exploit that he could kind of edit the in-game memory, and by that he could unbox crates with um a seven cent worthless items. So I mean, pretty for much free. anything is possible. Yeah, I mean, yeah, almost for free, just unbox crates. CS:GO is quite similar, in fact, to Team Fortress 2. Like, there's a lot of overlap in the items, so I, I think there's a lot of like this kind of exploits that are very, I mean, very much possible in CS:GO, but just haven't been found yet because people You're haven't been really the looking for them. Me. I mean, Who the I are actually, you, bro? Who's your team? Are you alone? I, I no, no, I don't really have a team. I mean, I just put name tags on items because. I think <laughs> <they look> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Jesus, man! Wow. How old no, are you? I'm 19, but Jesus. I'm like 20 in like a month. Imagine when you are 25. Bro, you will break whole CS, man. Jesus, man. You're still a young part of one. Ay, ay, ay. Chat, imagine. That's I mean, back in the day, in Team Fortress 2, like in like 2000, 10 or something if you would report bugs like i mean the guy that reported the bug to valve uh, that you could unbox basically crates for free mm -hmm. um instead of exploiting it he contacted valve and they patched it and they and they asked him like hey what sort of hat do you want like they they gave him a custom unusual with uh, any sort of effect that he wanted wow. any sort of and it's a one out of one hat of course and what it's untradeable it of course I mean, there's many of these, for example. I mean, there's um, and there's a Russian guy with the burning flames, just Lyris Gibbous, and there's a guy with this halo, and there's like these light particles coming out of it. There's like many of these um, mm -hmm. custom unusuals. And I think there's also a Bill, Bill's hat that's burning flames too. What I mean, would Valve's you do doing... if, if you find a crazy uh, uh, bug or something? <laughs> will mean, you tell them I or mean, will you? I mean, it's an, if it's an economy breaking one, like you could unbox it for free, of course, I'd try to contact them off, but I doubt mm. that they would really care. Like, I mean, I mean, I, I believe that there's a guy that found another way, like, to do this in Team Fortress 2 and CS:GO, and it revolves around editing the in-game memory. And I think he contacted Valve, and I, no I mean, it, it, it still hasn't been fixed. I mean, this was a long, long time ago, like a few years ago. I mean, for example, the whole RC thing with um, the source code leak and all that. Like, it was reported to Valve in like 2019. It was many, many years before Valve actually took action against it. And like, Valve, they, they haven't really listened to people who are like trying to report actual bugs in the game or in the code until it's like way too late. And like before they actually did and they actually rewarded people for it. But like those days are long gone. Did you personally report anything in your life to Valve? Um, no, not really. Like I, I have thought about maybe if, like if I report to Valve the name tag thing but I just thought that would be most likely a waste of time the best case scenario would be that they would answer back and they would patch it and it would result in like these items be like really rare or collectible mm -hmm. items and I was like I mean yeah that's kind of cool but I doubt that Valve would even open the email yeah I've, I've heard about something and I had one friend like getting really pissed at Valve because he found something pretty like important apparently he sent them an email and then they patched it but did not say thank you no nothing like sometimes yeah i don't know I, I don't know if it's true but like i i trust my friend but like apparently it happened jesus man like sometimes I mean, they also don't th seem to be like 
very thankful sometimes when you submit I mean, yeah, I, I believe him. It might be possible maybe at Valve, well, there was like one employee that in like 20, throughout like 2010 to like 20... 14 or something that like actually read the emails and like reacted to them and like was like hey um you reported this very cool bug that let you i mean I, i'm not actually sure if this is true or if like i have some problems in my memory but in a long time ago in team fortress 2 i think there was an exploit that let you literally create a, almost any sort of item out of thin air like it was some, it was really really bad and the guy reported it to up and he got like one of these custom unusuals i mean there was like mm -hmm. You know the ma man versus machine mode where you fight against robots? No. The robots have this custom minigun that you cannot get in any other way. And the guy like literally like spawned himself one of those. It was one out of one item, like nobody else had it. Jesus. And of course Valve removed it from his backpack, but I mean he got the custom unusual and I'm not sure if he actually got paid or anything. Interesting.